it's Jackie Schechner that screwed all this up yes. by just willy-nilly oh. putting ends in words. <laughs> Cliff Schechter. Why would you do that? <laughs> Schechter. Yes. And John, yes. Ar- and John Arabosis of the fantastic unprecedented podcast, brand new to the Sexy Liberal Podcast yeah. Network. Woo-hoo. Welcome. Woo-hoo. All right. Welcome. Ooh, fairy up. music. I like that. Like, Ooh. Ooh. A heart flourish. Don't float away, John. <laughs> I'll start. Um, you know, I uh, I love the way you put it. Was this you, John? You said to date, Donald Trump's coronavirus death toll comes to thirteen thousand four hundred and six Benghazi's and, and only uh, seven Scaramucci's. So yes, yeah, we have whole new uh, math now, don't we? Yeah, you know, the thing that surprised me was I didn't realize until last night that the 50,000 of those deaths happened in just the last month. A month. I figured I figured because we were counting from the end of January, we had a lot in February. We had a couple hundred in February. 50,000 happened in just the last month. I, John, it's, I just said that in hour one. Gordon. We were talking about that we're almost at the 58,000 of Vietnam, which went yeah. on for 20 years. I mean, it's when people talk about the yeah. flu or car accidents, I mean, not in a month. I mean... This carnage that we're watching, it's, and Cliff, you said it on Twitter, you said 100% attributable, uh, you know, to this president. I mean, it, it, well, first of all, you were just talking about the bleach thing, uh, about that whole, but I mean, just in general, his response to this is absolutely. Uh, no, I mean. Yeah, go ahead. No, I mean, I mean, we look, we've seen the difference. South Korea had their first known case the same day as we did. Uh, they had drive through testing within weeks. This guy thought he could just, you know, BS his way through it like he does everything, you know, and, and we've gotten to bleach now. But nowhere along the way do we get to testing, do we get to tracing, do we get to anything? And, and again, it is attributable to him. And when you think about what the Republicans did, John brought up Benghazi. But like Fast and Furious, you remember, remember that whole thing yeah. that they just couldn't get enough of where one border agent, which was terrible, accidentally died. But, it, you know, and what they had all of these hearings for, but they will not do anything. You know, and it's it's disgusting. Mitch McConnell may be a worse human being than Trump. Yeah. And you, by the way, you were talking about specifically Maryland saying more than 100 calls to the hotlines about consuming disinfectant. There obviously was at least 30 cases in New York. But that's what you were also saying, 100 percent attributable to President of the United States on his own use, on its own horrifying. You said, now imagine how his racism, dehumanizing immigrants, degrading women affect our society every single day. I mean, I when he said it. Cliff, I was like, oh, well, people, even they aren't dumb enough to do that. I'm like, oh, my God. I mean, I have to say, this made me weep for America over the weekend. I'm like, seriously? Someone watched that and went, okay. You just end up finding yourself quoting George Carlin, who used to, of course, say, you know, you ever realize how dumb the average person is and then realize 50% of people are dumber than that. Uh, I mean, there's, there's there's been hundreds of calls in New York, also Maryland, numerous states. Uh, and this guy's going to, I mean, we don't know. Maybe he's fish up the ass, which you guys are talking I don't know. Yeah. He'll, he'll, he, he could be doing anything. To, um, to you know, sometimes, Cliff, I don't know where you end and John begins, because John tweeted the same thing <laughs> about, uh, you said about, the, and the, I just said it because I went on a bike ride, about huh. uh, this is the scene from uh, Air, Air uh, the, you know, whatever, Eye in the Sky mm-hmm. in Newport Beach right now as the death toll surges in Southern California. And John, you said expect our death numbers numbers to keep going up. We have a lot of dumb people and zero leadership from the White House. I mean, and I thought this is in a blue state that believes in science and facts that is doing a good job on the curve. And I I was literally riding my bike and I'm like, the sheriffs had to keep coming back by helicopter and car and go get off the beach, get off the beaches are closed. Yeah. You know, Stephanie, one thing that's really freaked me out with the Trump era, but certainly more now is I've come to believe that we get the history we deserve. And I think growing up, you know, Cliff's more a student of history than I was, but, you know, I know my history. And you hear about sort of crisis after crisis, disaster after disaster, and you say, how did those people let that happen? They should have stood up, right? And I think it happens because at first I was going to say half the country welcomes it and the other half goes, I don't know what to do. But now I'm kind of thinking, like Cliff was saying, I think people... There's an inherent stupidity in people, and I don't understand it. And, and the Trump era has almost, it's inflamed it, but it's also exposed it. I never felt it that it existed this to this degree before. It's, it's very depressing. Well, I compared it to that I didn't worry about the stupid Pizzagate, because I thought even if you hate right. Hillary Clinton, that's so ridiculous, who's going to believe that? But I mean, the fact that we have a crazy conspiracy theorist yeah. in the White House, it's like giving oxygen yeah. to all those people. I mean, these crazy, you know, go back to work 
protests or whatever. I mean, they're, they're Trump rallies, complete with the Confederate right. flags and Nazi flags and, you know, well, but they're, and, 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 and the people that think, you know, Bill Gates is behind. It's crazy, right? But, but it's but the he's not even party Jewish. overall. That's true, Bill. I know the Bill Gates thing. They come up with him? him. He's not even Jewish. I mean, Wait till they find out, Cliff. They're going to be like, he's not Jewish. <laughs> oh, my, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, my God. George, George Soros is, com- exactly. is, is controlling Bill Gates, too. <laughs> he must be. He must be. Yeah. I mean, but it's true. You, 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 you look at all. I'll just say quickly. Sorry. You know, I mean, you, you look at all this. And, and the thing is, Trump has this huge megaphone. And that's terrible enough. But you brought up at the beginning of the broadcast here, at the beginning of when we came on, about Fox News and somebody who left Fox News. And again, when you've got people as dumb as we have, and, you, and our education system is what it is, and these people are tuning into Fox, which we allow to call itself news, to hide behind the First Amendment and literally tell people things that will kill them. Um, that was the point I was trying to make with the racism and the sexism is because we could directly attribute the bleach. But think of how many people just on a daily basis watch Fox, hear Trump, and then go out and they think somebody black is worse than they are, or gay, or Jewish, or a woman, or, I mean, they're hearing this garbage all the time from these people. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, they were chanting, lock her up about Gretchen Whitmer. I mean, it's just yeah. fill in, <laughs> fill in person with vagina here, you know, it's, right. just, it's insane. Well, um, John, you also, we mentioned this earlier, but uh, you were retweeting the, uh, to accommodate Trump's sudden decision to speak at West Point, cadets will be called back, tested off campus, cam- uh, campus isolated for 14 days in rooms with masks, eat in segregated groups. Um, you just said, oh my God, what they're putting West Coast cadet, West Point cadets through is because Trump is demanding his photo op. This is just outrageous. He's putting their lives at risk, the lives of their families once they all go back home. What a bastard. I know, and all because... Pence spoke somewhere. I mean, it's the whole reason yeah. he does these things. Oh, is, yeah. Go ahead. You're right. I didn't even think of that. It was yeah. because Pence did a commencement and Trump got jealous. Yes. It's, that's yeah. why he does the press things because, oh, you hope yeah, right. Andrew Cuomo's getting so much attention. And Well, did you hear today? Oh. Now Trump is, now the White House is claiming that, oh, no, West Point just demanded yeah, Trump. Of course. And he, and yeah. he, we had to break quarantine because they wanted it. Can you imagine all these kids wanting to come back? from thousands of miles away. And I mean it, I think of their families. A thousand kids are gonna all assemble together and then they're gonna disperse across the country again on airplanes, on trains. Yeah. I mean, right. it's, it's the Florida beaches all over again. And thanks to Trump. Right, no, right. no right. you made a good point about trains, planes, you name it from, no, you know, it's... coming from, you know, it's like, what if we have at least 40, you know, cases already diagnosed in Wisconsin where they were forced to vote. Because of the, yeah. Right, it's like if we listen to, listen to Mayor Crazy out there in Las Vegas. You know, and like, yeah. oh, yeah, just have people sit next to each other with their sweaty hands pulling on the, you know, on slot machines and, and handling chips with each other right next to each other for hours and, you know, breathing the same air. That would be fine. I mean, that's what you're doing. It doesn't stay in Vegas. This won't stay in West Point. It doesn't stay in Florida. We all suffer. Yeah. So but Cliff, you and I have talked about voting before. You've, you know, obviously been talking about that for years. But how sad is it that the people in Wisconsin turned out because they know people have died for their right to vote and now 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 they might die some of them will they well, also I mean, died for our right to vote in, right you know some other people will get it and, i mean and, and like that's criminal i don't know what else to say i don't know again i i am not i can't understand these people i guess because i don't know how john roberts sleeps at night i don't know how these people live with themselves i mean they're they're just we have the worst people i mean it's obviously the dumbest people and, and the rest we have the worst people yeah. running our country right now yeah well and john you tweeted about we talked the, all this morning about uh amazon delivery post to all this stuff you said if trump uh, quadruples the cost of amazon delivery that affects nearly everything i purchase outside of food once again he's taxing american citizens to pretend the cost is going somewhere else like his tariffs exactly yeah because of his spite over jeff bezos basically yeah that's right no, right. you know, and I get why people on the left are upset at Amazon. Totally get that. But there also is the simple fact that for a lot of us who don't have cars, who live in the city, oh, I get, I get everything are, on Amazon. Who, yeah, and, well, and who now are locked in in a pandemic. Right. Amazon is all you got, basically. Yeah. And Trump is talking about quadrupling the delivery prices. And again, it is just like the tariffs. It's going to get passed on to the consumer. But he's such a prolific, and I would almost say proficient liar in that. Even though his lies, we see them and we go, you're out of your mind. I think this stuff does sink down, at least to his base. But I worry about people in the middle. If you hear him lie a thousand times and say the same thing, don't people in the middle say, you know, I thought I heard that China was paying for that. 
Yeah. You know? Oh, I'm sure it does. scares me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and once again, you know, here we go into 2020. The media is still not being of any help. You know, Cliff, you uh, talked about even just the headlines and the way they write. First of all, that every paper is not calling for his resignation is is insane. But you, Ludicrous. But the New York Times, you just talked about, you know, some experts say, you know, this could be dangerous what the president said about bleach. And you, Cliff, you said New York Times description of events you, uh, you knew was coming. Splash a whole uh, front page of their paper with bolt email stories. Sure. Tell Americans the truth about how bat nuts their president is using only scientific fact nah some experts right if it's only some maybe you should try it right like some experts say you shouldn't drink bleach i mean it's... I mean, and and we predicted it like they are so culpable in this era and what's you know what is it that you know some people think you should eat dog feces some people think you should jam a, a you know broken some, glass up your yeah some say that's a bad you know, idea some say you should shove a fish up your ass <laughs> right but others say it might smell somewhat and hurt a bit <laughs> <laughs> Don't do the frozen one. Make no. sure that the, oh, the more can. tender meat you eat. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Point being that this is what we're we're stuck with. with right. the, you know, and the New York Times apologized because of the outroar or the uproar, but they'll just do it again. And They're we, not so up to the job. This is why I fell in love with Unprecedented, the podcast, because I think you were ranting about we can't make the same mistakes again and about ideological purity. I saved a tweet for you. Rebecca tweeted, try not to be so woke that we end up with Trump for four more years. Mm -hmm. Voting for Biden and then advocating for the change you want has a greater chance of success than not voting for Biden, ending up with Trump again and losing the courts for a generation. That's all we can control is what we do and how we turn out and what we do, right? You know, you know, Stephanie, really quick, but I always thought in 2016 that part of the problem of people who said never Hillary was because they hadn't been through a Bush before. They hadn't been through an election where we lost by the, you know, the skin of our teeth and got screwed for eight years. Now that we've been screwed for four years, and frankly, yeah. this is so much worse than anything Bush did in two years, that in four years, in two terms, I mean. The fact that people would still sit there and say, oh, but Biden doesn't excite me. And I've heard some bad rumors about him. He has to earn my vote. He has to earn my vote. You know what? You're not going clubbing looking for action. You're choosing the person who best represents Mm -hmm. your values. You don't need to be in love. It's not marriage. And these people are so like, I need to be excited. You're in a democracy. You're an adult. Go vote yeah. for the better. Right. Wait, what's the this quote, is, what's this the is quote where... about Democrats Democrats fall in love, Republicans fall in line? Right. Yeah. Well, I was just yes. going to say, this is yeah. the election where we, do we have to say, don't drink the electoral bleach? Do we have to say it? Perfect. I guess we do. All right. Love you. Unpresidented, yes, that was well put. Unprecedented. Yes. Uh, Cliff so, Schechter and John Everosis. Uh, <laughs> subscribe on uh, Apple Podcasts or your favorite podcast app. Just look for Unprecedented. It's, it's an awesome podcast. And we're so happy to have you guys. Thank Thanks, you, guys. guys. Thank you so much, guys. Always a pleasure.